The first step to processing your stars is stretching the data. And even though processing stars is a lot easier than processing deep sky objects, it can still be overdone. Let's learn how to use histogram transformation to properly stretch your stars and get them looking perfect for that final image. Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to stretch your stars. Now in the previous videos in the Pix Insight series, we touched base on the fact that sometimes you need to separate your stars from the image to process them independently. And the first step to processing your stars is to stretch them. And in this case, we're actually gonna be using histogram transformation, even though it stretches the tonal ranges evenly across the board, that's okay when you're working with the stars. There's not that much detail or contrast that we're working with. So we're not gonna be using GHS for this. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any future content. And uh, let's head on over and take a look at how to stretch your stars using histogram transformation. So when you first load your image onto uh, PixInsight, it's what we call linear. And that's why when you first load your image, it's sometimes black with maybe just a couple of little dots with stars. In order to uh, get your final image, you have to stretch that data. And when it comes to stretching your stars, we're not going to use GHS or generalized hyperbolic stretch. There's no need for the complexities and um, very specific areas that we stretch in. We're just stretching very basic data. So what we're going to use is the traditional stretching method, which is also called histogram transformation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to process all processes, and we're going to go to histogram transformation. Now, stretching is the critical point in post-processing. Now, what we're going to do here, notice how there's a ton of stars, right? NGC 6960 is loaded with stars. And this is also a way to reduce that so the stars don't overtake your nebula or galaxy. The first step that we're gonna do, where it says no view selected, I'm gonna click that, and we're gonna click on the stars. Now we're gonna go right up over here, and we're going to delete our auto stretch. See how this just went black? Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to Open a preview, Put that button right there. And we're going to take this and we're just gonna drag this down so we can see what we're doing. Now, we have our white tones over here. We have our black tones over here. We have our mid tones right here. The only thing that we're gonna worry about is mid-tones. So we're gonna take this slider, we're gonna click and hold, and we're just gonna drag it. See how our stars are starting to come back? Don't wanna go too far, right? You don't wanna blow that out, you see what happens there? And we don't wanna overstretch. This is just a little bit at a time. You see how our curve is forming over here. This is also a part here, another way to control your vision and make what you are looking for come to life. So let me go ahead and reset this really quick. Grab our mid-tones. We're just gonna stretch it. We're just gonna bring that slider over, right? And this is to taste. This is how you want your image to look. I'm just gonna go ahead and accept that. What we're gonna do is we're going to hit apply, okay? 
Now, before I do that, let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna move this up over here so you can see it a little bit better. Watch what happens when I hit apply. See how stars are starting to come back. Now, the next step here, don't just continue stretching. Come back to the bottom right, reset it, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna apply more of a stretch than you just did. After each stretch, always make sure to reset this. Now we're gonna come back, grab our mid-tone slider. And we're just gonna slide that up, okay? And you can always see before and after. If you take the little circle over here, your preview circle, see how, how up over here it says real-time preview histogram transformation. Let's click on the circle. This is before, click it again, that's after. And you know which one you're on because real-time preview is before, okay? Let's click this again. And I might just bring this down just a hair. I don't want to have too many stars in there and I don't want to overstretch them, especially when you look at, um, at Cygnus in here, right in over here. You don't want to overstretch the already bright stars. Let's go ahead and accept this one. See how the stars are nice and subtle now? They're coming in nicely. So let's go ahead and reset this again. Grab our mid-tone slider. Maybe go just a little bit more. You see how it's starting to get exaggerated now because we're on our third stretch. And what I'm looking at right now is Cygnus, okay? You see how Cygnus is starting to blow out just a little bit, right? So I'm just gonna let's check where we're at. That gives us a little bit of a nicer brightness. Let's go ahead and accept that. Reset, let's close out of our preview. And I would be very happy with that right there. And um, what I would do from here is bring it into curves transformation, maybe touch up some saturation just a little bit, but we'll get into that in another lesson. And that is all that it takes to use histogram transformation to stretch your stars. Again, very easy process, and you can really customize how your image uh, looks. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, do me a favor, that channel icon that just popped up, hit that channel icon and hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any future content. We still got a long way to go. Throw a comment in the comment section. Do you have any questions? Um, did you learn anything new if you're already doing this? And uh, check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.